So I'm going to demonstrate here drawing using natural chalk. This material is really beautiful. This is natural sanguine, and it has been mounted on a holder, a brass holder. This is a traditional brass holder. You could also use a quill. I'm using a handmade paper, very similar to what the old masters would have been using. And this is what the natural sanguine looks like. It's just a piece of chalk, uh, red hematite that has a base of clay. So it's a blend and it gives you different qualities. You could get some really nice, beautiful lines with the hard varieties and then some softer lines with the softer variety. So I'm going to go ahead and do a, a sketch of a figure using this beautiful material. So to use this technique, what the first thing that I do is I create a map using the softer um, sanguine material. So I'm going to begin by establishing the proportion of the figure. This is a study for a painting that I'm working on. So I'm going to establish, I just want to establish a basic proportion. And I'm using a photographic reference to do this. Usually what I do is I establish the um, bony structure using the torso or the rib cage. And I create almost like a stick figure to be able to model the figure, the flesh out the figure on top of that. And I'm going to focus on very general contours for now. And then I'm going to go back and begin by really breaking down the contours and the anatomical information. So at some point I want to switch to my harder sanguine, which will give me the darker lines. So that's what I'm doing here. you can be more <clears throat> confident with that line quality. Ideally, this goes on top, so I want to start laying in the softer tones, the bottom layers of sanguine with my softer material. This paper is superb, so it really holds the sanguine really nicely. I'd set up the model with a lot of nice chiaroscuro, so I'm able to get a lot of light, light and shade behavior. That makes it easier to model the figure. Drawing the axis here of the head. I'm using here some patching techniques to do some modeling. You just want to get in the grain of the paper and get this areas really nicely modeled. The softer the charcoal or the sanguine, you're going to be able to get into the grain of the paper. And you could use some stumping with your finger or with a rag to get into the grain of the paper. So this is one way to get the modeling really even and uniform. And then you're going to go with the hatching on top. These are techniques described by Palomino and a lot of other authors 
from the 17th century. You could get some really beautiful effects with this medium. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some more darks in here. And I wanna get more subtlety out of that area, so. Again, a lot of these artists use these red chalk studies to conform their paintings. So they were doing some nice modeling in areas just to, to help them out when they were working with their paintings. So that was one of the main purposes of these live studies that we have been working with from a live model and capturing this tonal information be able to model and paint a lot of detail and anatomical information. I've built up the stones. up these tones. Just be careful in some of these areas where you just want to describe form, but you don't want to get too dark with the tones. There's a nice volume there, so. Okay, I'm gonna build up core shadow. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in improving your drawing and painting skills, check out my live 101 courses on my online school's webpage in the description links below. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to my channel to enjoy my live presentations as well as future demonstrations.